This is Dan from HDPE Supply, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration of a Ram 28 hydraulic butt fusion machine by Ritmo. Um, this machine has what's called an Easy Life digital control system. It allows you to enter um, your each of your heat cycles in digitally. So, for example, I'm going to do a demonstration using 4-inch IPS SDR11 pipe. Um, and so I've already set my preheat pressure at 281 PSI. My heat soak, I typically heat soaks are zero, but you don't want to risk having anything pull the pipe away from the heating plate during heating time. So we typically set a low pressure on it, like 10 to 20 PSI. Maybe on an eight inch pipe, we might do like 25 PSI. Right now on this four inch pipe, I have 18 PSI and the heat soak time is set at 110 seconds. Um, that's determined by my experience fusing the pipe, so I know uh, how long it takes to create a roughly 1 8 inch melt bead for this particular size pipe. If you have questions about how to calculate that without actually fusing it, um, you can give us a call or, or, or email and we can help you with that. The last section is the, uh, the fusion and I have it set at 281 PSI that's the fusion pressure and it's set to hold pressure for five minutes before releasing releasing pressure and bringing everything back to zero um, to set the drag pressure on this machine you just push the drag button and the hydraulic pressure will slowly build up on the machine until the carriage starts to move at that point you'll press the button again once the carriage moves about a half an inch and it locks in that pressure and automatically adds that pressure to your fusion cycle pressure. So as soon as this carriage starts moving, I'll hit the drag button and it'll lock that pressure in. So there it goes. Hit that and then you can go back to setup and see by clicking on your drag that we're set at 83 PSI. So again, we're at 83 PSI drag 281 PSI is our preheat pressure. Our fusion, uh, our heat soak pressure is 18 PSI for 110 seconds. And our fusion pressure is 281 PSI for five minutes. The fusion time is set at five minutes, which is slightly higher than uh, the PPI recommended four, point, four minutes and 30 seconds. But you'd always want to err on the high side as far as your, your fusion time. So you switch it from setup back to fusion, that means you're actually ready to weld. And with this machine it has an open and close button. Open the jaws, set your facer in place. Facer has a switch in it, you can turn it on and off manually but it's going to automatically come on. Start spinning, and I hit close, uh, I hit face. And I set this facer pressure. Um, beforehand and you can set the facing pressure anywhere you want. Right now it's set to sit at about 168 PSI. Once, once the pipe has been faced, you press the face button again and it will uh, stop applying pressure and then you can open your jaws and pull your pipe away. So now that we've faced the pipe, we're going to uh, close this and just check our fit. Inspect our joint, make sure everything is in perfect alignment and is a, is, is a tight, smooth joint. You can kind of touch your finger across the surface of it and find that they're perfect on, on all sides. If for any reason it's not meeting perfectly, open it back up, potentially adjust your, your clamp pressure, which you don't need to apply. You don't want to get these clamps extremely tight. You just want to get them snug enough to hold the pipe so it doesn't move during the fusion process. And you can test that by applying pressure like right now. Um, and nothing's moving and it jumped to 600 PSI at that point. So we're at the point of heating. We have the heating plate set at 415 degrees Fahrenheit. 
on the heating plate itself, it also has an analog temperature gauge. And we'll set the heater plate in position. And the first setup of the set, uh, the first period of the cycle is preheat. So we're going to push this button. Those jaws are going to close, apply full fusion pressure, and we're going to just watch to make sure that we're in full contact, maybe five seconds, and then we're going to switch it right over to heat soak. At heat soak, it's going to drop the pressure off, and the timer is going to start and start counting down our, our heat soak time. So here we go. So it brings it up to full pressure. You kind of look at it to make sure the pipe's in full contact. It is, and a bead is starting to form. You hit heat soak. It drops the pressure back down to zero, which in reality, it's not at zero. It's applying slight pressure during the heat soak cycle, which is that 18 we put in originally. And the timer started. And so right now it's counting down. Once this counts to zero, the machine will start beeping the last few seconds and that pipe, uh, the, the, the carriage will open up, giving you the ability to quickly remove the heating plate and then inspect your melt, your, your uh, face of your weld to make sure that they're smooth and uniform and not, uh, don't have any bubbles or any ununiform weld around the surface of that pipe. As we're watching, we're also watching for an eighth inch melt bead to form against the plate. So you guys want to kind of look in there, you can see that a bead is forming on that plate and the recommended melt bead for this is a minimum of one eighth of an inch. Right now we're at about, I don't know, 330 seconds or so and we got 40 seconds to go. So we just let that form. You want to make sure that you you do meet the minimum melt bead uh, during this heat cycle during the time allotted. If you don't, you may need to increase your fusion your your heat soak time slightly to accommodate for that. Right now it's beeping. Seven seconds left. It's going to open up, and I'm going to use a quick snap. The plate will stick onto this, well sometimes it pops free on its own, but sometimes if it's stuck there you can kind of tap it with your hand. You only have 9 seconds or 15 seconds or something to inspect your bead before closing the carriage. And that timer starts to make sure that you don't go beyond your um, allowed time to have it open without a heating plate. So what I did there is when it was open, I pushed the fusion button, it automatically moves on to the fusion cycle, closes the jaws, and brings it up to full fusion force. And it's adding that 80 some PSI of drag pressure to this force. And the timer automatically starts. We had set it for five minutes. And right now it's counting down when it gets to zero it's going to drop the fusion pressure completely to zero it'll beep at you and at that point in time you can take the pipe um, out of the carriage and you're you're finished with the weld once this thing drops to zero the fusion pressure will release and at that point the fusion cycle is completely done if you have uh, warm conditions outside you may want to let the pipe sit in the jaws for a period of time to let the f joint solidify more before handling it and even still you want to handle the pipe very lightly until the until the joint is completely cold and at that point you can do whatever you want to it it's it's a permanent joint never to come apart uh, that's it for this machine again it uh, fuses two inch ips through eight inch dips pipe sizes um, and it's the only machine on the market that has this electronic control system uh, to control these.